Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once and... Right, her sister is chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. Looks at the little girl. N no, d no! <laughs> it's just Mr. Wright here. He hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? Body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. It's Edgeworth's car. <laughs> mm? That would be my car. What of it? Your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. Hold on, we're examining the room first. Wow, this jacket is even lacier than the usual ones! This would just be his lucky trash jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll just be naughty. Take a picture! I'm just getting way too excited about this. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Oh, prosecutors. Hmm? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for King? Yeah, I've got a problem with that. I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. I don't remember Brick, but I think there's a reason why it's, it's the shield is broken. I honestly just don't remember. Given to Edgeworth, King of Prosecutors at the PD, so Prosecutor Department, on the day of the murder. Why is it not checked? I need to be checked. Thank you. Couch. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. Teddy pours over his case files here until the wee hours in the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. But in the morning, he has sofa hair and a little creases in his cheek from the seams. So, so cool. She's not being creepy. She's just fangirling and hoping to be Edgeworth's waifu, okay? It's fine. It's not legal or anything, but it's fine. They do that. Sofa hair is cool. We essentially have sofa hair the entire time because we're feeling right. The work desk is quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. Polished so well, I can see my own reflection. Why did it flash to Gumshoe? Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take the name uh, plaque as a souvenir. Uh, don't. He'll sue you. My, my, my! What an amazing bouquet! Right out, just right for Mr. Edgeworth. That's not what I clicked on. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. The only Wendy I know is Wendy Oldbag. Oh, Angie Poo! Besides it, a giant steel samurai! Wow, I want one. Hmm? Uh, there's something written on the bottom of this foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Oh, God. Wendy? She's uh, Edgeworth's fiance? Uh, it is old bag! If Gumshoe died, I may have to leave. If he died, you need to stay here so we can bury him. I never said he made it to the second game. Whoa! What a view! It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess she would feel important. Incidentally, uh, where 
Were you to jump out of this window, the time until impact of the ground would be... Got it! Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know that I have that much time to say my prayers. Tea set. Oh, cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. Sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Yeah, if there's something like that, you'll, you'll be fine. Proper send-off. These are all case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling! There's even a ladder! Odd. But Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. We must have got someone to get them for him. Okay. It'd be cool to see this game in 3D, like walking around the game. Um, I don't think the game needs it, honestly. Most of the game is the characters, their dialogue. I love to have voice acting. I'd say voice acting could make the game that much better. Um, but most of it's the investigation, the murders, the twists... The reasoning. I don't know if I'd like the game. It, the game would be feel the same if this was in 3D. I'd still love it, but and you can't. There's a little bit of walking around the Edgeworth games. That's true. He must study the case reports so closely. He's so cool. That's another good point. Backtracking would be annoying. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Chess. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in one bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Hmm? Uh, those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check that out, that poor pawn. He's kind of a spiky... Kind of reminds me... Oh gosh, we're being ganged up on? Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Ray? Edges surrounding a pawn. Spiky hair. <laughs> Nothing... I hope so too, Sriracha. That'd be great. Let's see. I'm actually surprised that his desk is, um, it doesn't have a, what is this called? I should know this. I worked in commercial office furniture. There's a name for this front plate. Why am I blanking? No, it has something to do with decency. Privacy panel. Is a privacy panel. So that when... So like if he was a female and somebody walked into his office and he's sitting there or she's sitting there, it's supposed to have privacy. So you'll see some desks that are like one quarter that'll not go all the way down to the floor. Um, but a full privacy panel on the front means it goes all the way down to the, to the floor. Um, but not having this open like that is means there's no privacy panel. That's the word I was looking for. I feel better now. It's been like a year since I've even looked at furniture because of my illness. Now we can talk to you. After it takes us a while. And even if Edgeworth does slouch, not like he's wearing a skirt. So the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. Yeah, yeah I agree with uh, Sriracha. It'd be great if there's a, a new one. Of course, again, if we can get a PC version of the Layton Phoenix game, I'll definitely play that here, too. Because I'd never played that one. That one would be completely new. Wait, so you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir, Emma Sky. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. This is actually really cute to watch. Oh, no, I remember. You've really grown. How many years you have left? I'll admit it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprisingly still, I am being forced to prove my superior's guilt.
<laughs> Fantasia, I don't... Uh, that could work, why not? I can understand. What, wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be prosecuting at, at the trial tomorrow. You! Ed Edgeworth. Well, dang. That's not good. To be honest, uh, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? No. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes. Well, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It's my first big case. Yeah, Capcom's been doing pretty good. There was one or two times I was a little concerned, because I think there was like... There was one fighting game that came out that had like... Ten fighters that were ready to go, but you had to buy to unlock them. I was like, what? That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. Because I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Oh, great! Uh, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. It might just be me. When I think toolbox, I don't think knife. I think screwdrivers. I think wrenches. I think, um, like, screws. Hand, like, maybe some nails. I don't think knife. I think, like, a box cutter. But I don't think knife. It might be just where, where I get my toolboxes, though. Usually in Edgeworth's toolbox, traces of victim's blood, no prints. Mm, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Why did we ask him that? The old utility knife? Okay, okay. Knives are useful for propagating evidence. That's true. Come on, can't you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Hold on. Can we present that? We can. So, basically this says you were the best of the best last year. You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Hmm? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Well, that doesn't matter. I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. Doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! What? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, we'll take it. <sighs> I wish I could be on the same side as Edgeworth. Then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. Now, could you tell me more about, the, about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day for the prosecutor's office. There was a cleaning day? But every day would clean the day. 
Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Open your hands of old cases. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and the awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. So the prosecutors have to pay for parking? Edgeworth's parking stub. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. Murder took place around 5.15. Well, his car would have to been there, so yeah, he, he came in before that. The murder happened right after you got back. What right? I'd appreciate it if you'd direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... <gasps> this guy! Yes! Excuse me, but is uh, Edgeworth uh, on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got the report, sir. The report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Prosecutor Sky? I, I don't like the way this conversation is going. Yeah, he would have, like, it must have happened, like, immediately or something. Or skies? No, sir! Uh, it's no name of that kind, sir! Not in this report, sir! I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir! But, but, sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you, sir! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with a... Give me your name. Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. But, but sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right. Yes, sir. Oh gosh, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. One of your friends cosplayed Meekins? That's awesome. You may leave now. Let's just do what he says, perhaps to write. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks? I don't think he wants it to be known that... So you're going to need a few? No. Uh, police department! Hi, Badger! Badger, 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 Badger. Ooh, we're finally here! Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? That's a good point. Shouldn't they be relatively close? Beats me. Look like... It took almost 30 minutes by taxi. The traffic wasn't even that bad. Police department, huh? I've only been to the criminal affairs next door. Hmm. Hold on, what's that? Why does it undulate like that? Hey, why is there a handprint on his face? I know, this is the blue banner. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next door? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh oh, he noticed me. Sure is running over here fast. Hey, pal, what are you doing here? He was just dancing with the blue badger. That's my line, Gumshoe. Also, there you go, Gumshoe's not dead. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Uh, well, uh... <clears throat> he doesn't seem busy. This is our chance to get information. 
Hey, I'll have you know I'm very busy, man pal. Doesn't seem that busy to me. The brick is super relieved he's not dead. I'll give you one piece of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's, uh, it's that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yeah, well, no. Come on, pal, there's plenty of evidence against her. But what kind of, what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? Uh, she's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! Chief Prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, by the way, I might want to keep your voices down. Uh, you don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Hmm? It's just uh, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. So, what are you doing here, Detective? Uh, me? Uh, well, nothing really. Uh, they kicked me out of criminal affairs. Wait, what? What did you do? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Uh, only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. Uh, the lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down, Pat. Isn't there anything else you could be doing? Uh, Chief Police himself is directing his investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. Uh, patrolman in charge of the crime scene? It's unheard of. See if I can do show him this. Huh? Hey pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that, you gotta turn it into police. There's people like you that give me such so much trouble all the time. Okay. Does Maya and Emma ever meet? I actually wanna say no. I I don't think our sidekicks are ever ever destined to meet. I could be wrong, though. I just don't remember. It's a possibility. Capricia said maybe. They think so. I, I honestly just don't remember. Meaning you take a gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm. Let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah. <laughs> My mistake. Didn't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Oh, yeah. They'd be instant friends. Whoa. Now I remember. A Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Dr. Gunshu? Uh, let's make sure we... Nothing else we're gonna do with. Hey, that's it! That's the King Prosecutor's Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Hey! Good on Gumshoe. Diligence. Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Yeah, why is it a shield in the first place? Wouldn't a shield be more like a defense attorney thing? I don't remember the story behind it. There's a reason. Uh, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Must be because of the rumors. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Who would drive tree prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Oh, wait, I, 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 oh man, I'm, uh, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Uh, someone who must have, um, uh, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. Car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be cons to be a coincidence. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. 
would happy Monday, and yes, that's what I was thinking. A shield would mean a bet that would mean a defense. But a broken defense? I don't think it should be defense at all. I would think like like an accusatory finger or something, or a, like sword. Let's find a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Okay, we got some new talk. So this ID card belonged to the victim. Uh, he was a detective, like myself. Detective uh, Bruce Goldman. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Oh yeah, use a knife. Whatever. Well, uh, Detective Goodman should have been at the, the police department yesterday. Uh, there was an e evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Uh, well, that's the thing. <laughs> it's hard to say this, but uh, word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there uh, to the parking lot. Well, it's confessing as much. Uh, he's in a tough spot again. Again? Who's again? Oh, Edgeworth again. Okay. Oh, the one that did Meekins is going to do Edgeworth next? Cool. Uh, well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent. Uh, listen, pal. Uh, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Uh, forging evidence, uh, making deals with witnesses. You know, right, but there's always uh, whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. There's no evidence against him. Well, that's cool, Fantasia. And I'm sure we'll see pictures. Uh, well, Edgeworth's always uh, had unusual strong ties to the department's high ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea it was under the gun. Anyway, uh, the latest case has uh, started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the Chief Prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? Uh, the Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. They do meet up in the spirit of justice. Cool. Are they both 18 then? Just asking for a friend. You made this detective, didn't you? Uh, Chief threw together some designs, and I just did what did my thing, pal. Nice work. Uh, it's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dances, does dance, dances until the batteries die. Blue, poor blue badger, fated to dance until he drops. A work of art designed by the chief of detectives and created by Detective Gumshoe. And uh, that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Why aren't you handling the case, Detective? Don't you? Oh, we met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. Uh, that be Officer Marshall. Uh, he was appointed directly by the chief of police. Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? Uh, no, Jake Marshall is just a regular officer <laughs> from West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show him this, and I'll let you examine the scene. Maybe. Letter of introduction. Allows Bear to investigate the crime scene. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Uh, just like you're supposed to be there, nobody will look at you twice, pal. That works for a lot of things. Trollman saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And he said... And then I said, hey, you do that, your soup will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. That makes, it, that makes a good pair. That makes a good pair. Uh, let's go investigate the thing. Nothing more to talk to you about. Cool. Uh, I like when there's not too many places to go, so I don't spend 20 minutes trying to find the place I'm supposed to be. Looks like the investigation is still 